Our voyage around Vancouver Island was to be not just a holiday, for we were going to follow in the wake of George Vancouver, the British Navy officer who, in his ship Discovery and with the support vessel Chatham, explored and charted these waters over 200 years ago. In 1791, Captain George Vancouver was sent out from Great Britain and he had three tasks to accomplish. The first one was what he did so brilliantly well and that was to chart and to sound all of this coast from San Francisco north of Vancouver Island. When he got back to England, he wrote in his journal our residence here was truly awful. Silence pervaded the gloomy forests, while animated nature seemed to have deserted the neighboring country. When the Spanish came up here, they came into Nootka Sound, and they actually started a colony right here in Nootka, and particularly here in Friendly Cove on Nootka Island. During those subsequent years, the Spanish gradually took over more and more of this part of the world. And after a few years, the Spanish regarded the Pacific Ocean as their own private lake. But not everybody agreed with the way that the Pope had divided up the spoils. The next day, we ducked behind a group of large islands which sheltered us from the Pacific Ocean and sailed south on a hot, sunny, exhilarating day. And we simply reveled in the sheer joy of sailing among the many lovely islands of Barclay Sound, the so-called broken group of islands. Whilst sailing along in Barclay Sound, we were joined by this group of stellar sea lions. They were first described by Georg Steller, a German naturalist who was with Bering on his voyage to Alaska in 1741. There is great satisfaction in making a circumnavigation, whether it be of the world or of a large island. 